Today we're looking at creating a brand new stitch in Stitch Mastery and also the mirror version of that stitch. In order to create new stitches you need to have your own user stitch library and that is set up in preferences which of course is under tools if you're using Windows or Linux or you can find it under the Stitch Mastery menu in the top left of your screen if you're using a Mac. Open Preferences and under Stitch Libraries come to version 3 user libraries and I'm going to open my existing one. If you haven't set up a user library before I'll link to a video below that explains how to do that. So I'm going to click Edit and View and what I thought we would look at first is the new stitch option and the edit stitch dialog opens and you have full control over many of these things. Initially the default is for a stitch that is one cell wide and is consuming and producing one stitch and down at the appearance you have the one cell blank square but you have control over how wide your stitch should be how many stitches it should consume or produce so if it's a decreased stitch or an increasing stitch then these figures will be different. You can set the name, the abbreviation, the long description which would be the full details of how to work the stitch. The display string is to do with if you are creating a stitch that has multiple stages so a good example would be slip one knit one, pass the slip stitch over. In certain parts of the program it will understand that as three separate stitches rather than one stitch with three parts of an instruction so you may want to use the display string but we won't go into too much detail on that here but you can always open any existing stitch and click on edit to see what the settings are and you'll also note that we have the mirror and the wrong side so these drop down menus allow you to choose which stitches will be essentially your opposite stitch or how you should work the stitch on the wrong side. So if we come out of this one for a second and have a look at for instance the make one right leaning. So it's set up to consume no stitches because you're making a stitch produces one stitch. and here we have the mirror which is make one left leaning so obviously if you had two sides and you were trying to create a symmetrical design then you'll have the version of the stitch that would go on the left side and the version of the stitch that would go on the right side and then the wrong stitch which is make one purlwise left leaning so just as a knit stitch to create the same look on the front of your design your actual knitted piece of fabric when you're working on the back you need to purl to create the knit V on the right side of the material and so similarly here making one right leaning the reverse side to get the same appearance on the front is the make one purlwise right leaning so for this video we thought it would be useful to create two different stitches and show you how to link up as the either mirror images or the wrong side and I'm going to do this with two 10 stitch cables. So first of all I'm going to type 10 into my filter box so that I can find the 10 stitch custom cable and I'm going to click duplicate to create a double. Now when you click duplicate you can actually change the number that the stitch will consume, produce or span which is slightly different to just editing the stitch which won't let you change these first few things but I do want it to be the same and we will call this 5 over 5 twisty cable and the abbreviation could be 5 over 5 TC. This is not at all standard convention but it's just to let you see what might actually work. We'll leave the long description just for now. So I'm going to come to edit the appearance and to make this slightly different we're going to do mirror images. So just for demonstration purposes not entirely sure how you would work such a thing but I'm going to pop some symbols in here on the right side of the cable and click OK so we see these have now appeared over here 
and it's trying to save this in the 10 stitch cables drawer which is perfect and it will add to the end of the drawer. You can uncheck that if you want your new stitch to appear at the top of the drawer. Um, and let's actually make this twisty right. Oops. So that we can differentiate. Now, by default, the mirror and wrong side will be the exact same stitches but what my end aim is to have is a mirror image so again imagining that if we have something that is symmetrical and I have this cable on one side if I have the cable on the other side I'm going to want to have some twisty action over on the left hand side but because I haven't created that stitch yet I can't change the mirror image to match it gives me the options of the other 10 stitch cables that are available so far, so the three that are already in the programme. So I could set it to just a simple 5x5 five five left cross cable for the mirror image. And the wrong side, of course, with cables, it's not quite the same as knits and pearls. Working a cable on the wrong side is not, there's no way to give you that same effect on the right side of the material. So this particular stitch, if you encountered it on the wrong side, you would just work it in the exact same way. So we'll click OK and let's just pop down to filter by drawer and 10. So here we are, our 5 by 5 twisty right cable. And the easiest way to recreate this stitch for the mirror image is to duplicate it again and change to left. And what was our abbreviation was 5 by 5 TLC will make it. We'll leave the description just at the moment. Now I can set the mirror already because I have the twisty right cable available and what I'm going to do so edit the appearance now first of all there's no way of removing just these two symbols from the stitch so what I'm going to do is clear the whole thing and scroll down to find the 10 cell crossing cable is it 10 that's the one so what I want to do is select the full area so click and drag to select the full drawing area release and then click on this one so I get my cross. Now back to the dot symbol set, scroll back up to the top. So again in the, this time in the left hand side we'll have this one and this one. So click OK. That all looks okay. And now we can go back into the twisty right and select our new twisty left cable as the mirror image. Click OK. Click OK to come out of the stitch library. Apply and close. And here in my 10 stitch cables drawer we now have the two new stitches, so pop this one here. So that's on the wrong side, but as we mentioned, the cables don't tend to have a version for the reverse side. And here is our mirror image by using the left cable.